encourage all of us to make this event. Okay, well, good evening, and thank you very much for taking the time to speak to Breaking Travel News. We're just a few hours away now from the official opening of uh, AHIF 2017 here in Rwanda. How are you feeling about the event this year? Well, although we're opening officially tomorrow with, with the Prime Minister coming here and helping us uh, officially open it, We've had an absolutely fantastic day today of networking, uh, primarily. There's been, what, some, something like 500, uh, almost 600 people in the room. We've had a full day's uh, AviaDev conference, which is looking at uh, route development in Africa. And then tomorrow we really get stuck into the meat of the, the event. We're here in the fabulous new convention centre. There have been a lot of investments here in Rwanda. Was that one of the things that uh, encouraged you to bring, the, to bring this dual event here to, to the country? Well, we were proud to be one of the first uh, events in this facility last year and uh, obviously one of the only uh, events that they've hosted here on hotel investment. Um, I think the, the draw here is definitely uh, a number of different things, including the venue itself. I think uh, Rwanda has a... a, a great vision, uh, it's, it's coordinated, the ease of doing business here um, allows you to set up easily as, as a business and, and they facilitate um, investment very nicely. Um, it still has its challenges, it's a small market, it's, um, it's uh, landlocked, but actually on the whole the, the coordination uh, for Rwanda makes for a very good story indeed and, and we're proud to be here. You mentioned the landlord there, but they're working, investing to overcome that. There's a new airport, the airline as well. That's uh, very much a, an interesting development there. Well, that's what I mean by the direction. I think um, Rwanda has a very clear idea of what it wants to be and how it's going to get there. And they understand that the airline is critical to the putting, putting people into the market and then people understanding more about the market and then understanding that it's easy to set up business here. And so therefore, consider whether or not it's a good place to set up shop and and the event market I think is key to them because it allows them to focus on key industries that they want to attract here it obviously brings people in which creates revenues and an understanding of, of, of how easy that actually is. We've heard from your partners Marriott, Hilton today, investments, new properties being signed. How yeah. would you describe the hospitality market, the mood among the investors uh, here in Africa? I, I think it's ever hopeful. I think the um, the market has challenges. In the last couple of years, uh, there's been a, a dip in the uh, rhetoric of uh, the Africa rising. It's certainly not back to the hopeless, hopeless case. But I think there's been a, a very big wake-up call in respect to the oil prices that drop, uh, the um, exchange rate impact on, on the local currencies. But actually, um, Africa hasn't lost its way either. And, and now you can see a definite recovery, and I think that recovery comes from the demographics, that actually, we all know that in 20 years, Africa is going to have a billion people plus, or, and, and somewhere like Lagos is going to have 30 million people alone. Mm -hmm. and, and this is going to drive development and investment, regardless of these minor dips in, in the road. And, and, and actually, in fairness, Perhaps that's a good thing because it allows countries to realise that they need to diversify, they need to go away from one or two commodities and, and look at things like tourism and look at things like uh, investment into um, the uh, other sectors like uh, technolo uh, technology or whatever. Okay, that's a very interesting point. So the best of luck for a fantastic Thank event you, ahead. Chris, Thank you, Chris, and thanks for being here.